What kind of piece is this you're working on? This one will probably be a seed pot. It's a little bit bigger than a normal seed pot. But it'll, a um, long time ago, there's a story to tell you that the men used to, the women would make a pot that would fit in their little pouch. And the men would fill, fill it with a, the seeds. And the opening is small enough where the mice wouldn't get into it. So the men would go to the field, they would put that pot in their pouch, and then when they get to the field to plant, they just shake the seed out. But they used them to store the seeds also. But you just gotta keep working the clay and turning it and pressing it inward. You said the, the clay kind of has a sense of where it wants to go? Yes, sometimes it takes on a mind of its own and I'll want it to be a seed pot, but it doesn't... Sometimes it'll grow and it'll be bigger than what you wanted it to be. Whatever you're feeling, if you're feeling angry and you're feeling, and especially angry, if you try and make mother clay into something that you want she feels that anger and your pot won't come out it'll crack because she's hurting just as much as you are and it makes a difference a lot of the pieces right now i'm more at peace in where my life is at right now and my pieces are coming out really nice even if i say so myself i'm pleased with the way that they're coming out so I know just from my own life experience that she feels what I feel. You know, there's times when I'm working on something and if I'm designing something, you know, I'll think of how my dad would tell me if I'm having problems with it, he'll remind me of how, how to do something a certain way. Or if you're putting on a certain design, you'll remember what you've been taught um, the meaning of the design and especially when I'm polishing it's like grandma would tell you is that good enough are you happy with it you know be proud of what your finished piece is and I'll always remember she asked to see one of my pots and she picked it up and she, the, she just said you do good work and handed it back to me that in itself said everything I needed to know that surpassed any ribbons, awards, anything else that I ever have gotten. I'm seeing just more and more ceramic pottery that's, people are, it's not traditional anymore. It doesn't have that sense of belonging, a sense of home, a sense of where we came from. People are looking more at the monetary part of things. And instead of, teaching that tradition and showing your kids or your grandkids how to go back to the earth and find Mother Clay and take care of her and bring her home and nurture her into making a pot, they're going out and buying clay. And yeah, they'll make money on it, but it's just losing a certain sense of identity, our own identity. Okay, so this is the clay that we got from the vein, and it comes out literally like chocolate. It'll come out in layers, but we'll take this home, we'll dry it first, and then we'll soak it and screen it and process it and mix it. Next step would be to mix it with the temper to make our clay. But the whole process itself from start to finish just to get the clay ready probably would take a good six weeks to a month. That's what you use for polishing? For burnishing? I don't have anything else to But you'll literally put it on the pot and you're just rubbing it with the stone. And I have some, some of these have been handed down by my, from my grandma. They gave, she gave them to my dad. And then I have a couple of pieces from my my uh, mother-in-law. 